We were still a young province, and we're still known as being cowboys, and that's fine, we are. But uh, I thought we're more than that. A people that does not have a culture or arts will not be part of history. They will be erased from history, literally. And if you look at history, it's very much the culture and the arts of different uh, continents and different cultures and throughout history that you remember and that you study. It's one of the most uh, important facets of cultural development in any community is the uh, investment that leaders are making, political leaders. If arts and culture are there to express the deepest aspirations of a people, their dreams, their, their values. It's important that political leaders especially believe in that. Then you have a climate that nourishes that belief and it really flourishes. We believe very strongly that there should be a department of culture and just culture and there should be a minister of culture. And guess who had the most influence <laughs> in that? My mother is a public servant as much as my father. She, she does feel an obligation and a sense of purpose. They were talking about the cabinet. I think they went away to Jasper for a few days and he was trying to figure out what his first cabinet was. And uh, he sort of laid it out for her and she said, well, what about culture? Right yes. from day one in the speech from the throne in our first government was a minister of culture who was Horst Schmidt. Alberta was the only province outside of Quebec that had a minister of culture. I don't think we ever planned an overseas trip uh, to wherever we we're going in Europe or Asia where the culture wasn't a very significant part of our program. Peter, perceptive as he is, recognized that part of the growth of Alberta would not be restricted to oil sands and big cities, that we needed uh, a strong cultural community. Friends, what a magnificent facility. What an exciting gala. What a great event. You know, the Lougheeds were at every performance in Ottawa during the Alberta scene of Alberta's centennial where they celebrated the artists and the culture of this province in Ottawa. There were standing ovations every concert we went to. That's right. Maybe we led them. <laughs> Very possibly. We've done that before. <laughs> Peter jumped to his feet. <laughs> I would not have the potential of growth I have in this ballet company and the community support, the possibilities of creating what we're creating with Alberta Ballet today, if it wasn't for Peter and Jean Lougheed and, and, what they, uh, in, and how they invested in arts and culture when he was premier. It would not be possible. I don't think my parents uh, want to be immortalized in a legacy. Uh, I don't think they care if the 20-year-old dancer knows their name. Their legacy would be that our arts and cultural community is thriving. Um, and uh, that they can look back uh, and say, we might have had a role uh, in making that happen. Uh, do they want recognition for it? No. Um, they, do they want to see it thrive? Yes.